This is the iPhone 5C Take Apart Repair Guide brought to you by RepairsUniverse.com. In order to perform this repair, we're going to need to use a few tools including a safe open pry tool, a pencil lobe screwdriver, a small Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and a suction cup. I'd like to let you know you can also order the full screen assembly at our website, RepairsUniverse.com, including all the tools shown in this video. You can purchase them separately or in a toolkit. To begin, you'll need to use a SIM card removal tool or a paper clip and remove the SIM card tray and SIM card. Place it off to the side. Next, you'll need to take your pencil lobe screwdriver and remove the two small screws towards the bottom of the dock port. With these screws now removed, we're going to take a suction cup and place it towards the bottom of the screen towards the home button and use it as leverage to pry out the screen assembly from the housing. Once you've reached enough gap, you will notice that the screen assembly can be lifted upwards. Be cautious as there are still three pop connectors being held onto the motherboard. With the screen assembly flipped up now, you can see we have four screws that we're going to remove. These are all small Phillips screws. They are different sizes, so you'll want to keep them separate. Remove these four small Phillips screws. With these screws removed, you can now remove this shield, exposing the three pop connectors on the motherboard. Here you'll want to take a plastic pry tool, or in this case we're using a nylon spudger, to release the connections. You'll want to release all three connections in this particular order as they overlap each other. This is for your screen assembly, including your LCD and touchscreen. With all three connections removed, you can now remove the screen assembly. Next we're going to remove the ear speaker, front camera, and sensor flex cable assembly. First you'll want to remove these two small Phillips screws. Again, these are different sizes. you want to keep these separate. With the two screws removed, you can remove this little silver shield here. Place it off to the side for reassembly. You can then pop out the ear speaker. Next you'll want to take a plastic pry tool, or in this case again we're using a spudger. And you want to release the front camera from the slot in the screen and begin to peel the flex cable off the back of the LCD screen. As you can see there's the front camera, sensor, place that off to the side for reassembly. Next working down here towards the home button you'll have three screws you'll have to remove. Again these are small Phillips screws. With all the screws removed you can then remove the home button sensor just use your pry tool to remove it from the screen housing. Place it off to the side for reassembly. And then, of course, you can pop out your home button. It's held on with a little bit of adhesive. You can peel that right off and set it off to the side. Moving on, we need to take your small Phillips screwdriver and remove five screws on this heat shield covering the back of the LCD screen. You'll see there's one screw on top here, and then two other screws on the other side. With all these screws removed, you can then peel off this heat shield from the back of the LCD screen. Next we're going to take our small Phillips screwdriver and remove the two screws holding the silver shield over the battery connection. With the two screws removed you can remove the shield and set it off to the side. Taking your plastic pry tool release the battery connection. To remove the battery you should know there's two strips of adhesive holding the battery down to the inner housing. The adhesive is fairly strong so during this process you want to be very careful not to bend the battery too much as you could damage it. You want to work evenly on each side of the battery, slowly releasing the adhesive from the housing. With 
most of the adhesive released, you should be able to pull out the battery and set it off to the side. Next we're going to remove the rear camera. You'll need to remove two small Phillips screws covering this heat shield right here. Take the shield and set it off to the side. Next taking your pry tool you want to pop up the rear camera and release its connection on the motherboard. Moving on, you'll need to take your small Phillips screwdriver and remove this small Phillips screw. Then you'll need to pull out your flathead screwdriver to remove this screw circled in red. These two screws removed, you can now release the power button flex cable connection. Remove this small Phillips screw. Take your flathead screwdriver, remove this screw as well as this one. You have a couple more small Phillips screws to remove. Release the connection shown, this antenna cable. This should now allow you to wiggle out the motherboard. You want to be very careful as there is still an antenna connection on underneath the motherboard. You want to watch out for that flex cable too as well. Once you flip over the motherboard you'll see the antenna connection. Go ahead and take your pry tool and release the antenna connection to remove the motherboard completely. Proceeding towards the bottom of the device, you'll have seven small Phillips screws to remove. Again, keep in mind these screws are our different sizes. You'll want to keep track of them as you remove them. With all seven screws removed, you can now take your pry tool and release the loudspeaker assembly. You want to be very careful on this right side as there is a small flex cable held down with some adhesive. Use your spudger to carefully release this flex cable from the loudspeaker as you do not want to rip the cable. that release you can now take the loudspeaker and set it off to the side. Moving on you'll want to start with the headphone jack. You want to slide it out of the slot in the housing so that you can lift it up to give you some leverage underneath the flex cable assembly to peel it up from the housing. With the jack released from the housing you can then move it over and begin prying up the flex assembly from the inside of the housing. It is head, held down with some slight adhesive. You just want to work your way underneath to release it. Be careful for this left side here where the flex pop connector is held down with some adhesive too as well. You want to be careful not to rip that. As you can see here, here's the headphone jack, lightning dock port, as well as the mic. This concludes our iPhone 5C Take Apart Repair Guide. Again, you can find all of the parts and tools you'll need on our website at RepairsUniverse.com. If you found this guide useful, please take the time to like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful guides. Thanks for watching.